Yesterday, the Ministry of Infrastructure launched the East Bank Borbis Road Rehabilitation Project at Overwinning. Sasha Ramsaran reports. After years of protesting against the deplorable state of the East Bank Borbis Roadway, relief is on the way for the residents as rehabilitation works on the road commenced today. Minister of Public Infrastructure Honorable David Patterson made the announcement at a public meeting held yesterday at Overwinning Village, East Bank, Burbese. The minister disclosed that the project, which will be completed in phases, will stretch from Marks Bridge, New Amsterdam to Mara. Minister of Public Security Honorable Kemraj Ramjitan was also present at the meeting and made brief remarks to the audience of residents commending the work of the minister. It may have come somewhat in a delayed reaction, but we have to get the monies out for this project. And the ministers in government, in cabinet, have been doing their best to ensure that the monies can be allocated for this project. Why it didn't happen earlier, understand the difficulties we do have. And so, yes, after a campaign in which we were here and people had made their complaints, we said that we are going to deliver, we are going to deliver now. And I want to congratulate the efforts of public infrastructure, Mr. David Patterson. Minister Patterson then made his remarks, saying that after years of protesting against the condition of the road, the cries of the residents have finally been heard. I'm here. Um because you called. Because the residents in this area, these bamboo pieces, have called and have been calling for years. Our records show that since 2009, there have been protest actions for the condition of this road. Various, for whatever reason, various administrations. And I had my, my record show that in 2009, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and then in January 2017, I got word that you were going to come out again. Um, and at that stage, I think we decided enough is enough. We have to get put this project on the front burner. Under the funding of the IDB, the road project was estimated to cost a total of $1.8 billion. However, under the funding of the Ministry of Finance, the road will be rehabilitated to the tune of $1.2 billion. We went to the Ministry of Finance and we said, the road, this road, this section of road, we had budgeted down in the IDB $1.8 billion. I could get it done for $1.2 billion. Can you provide me with the money? And without any hesitation, the Minister of Finance said yes. So, he asked me what is needed. We told him this public sum, 1.2 billion, and he asked me how we're going to do it. Um, I said I have a unit called the Special Projects Unit, who they, they're the one to be doing the general um, scrubbing and patching in the interim while we gear up to where we are today. So that was approved. And that's why I'm here today, to officially launch it, to tell you exactly what we're going to do, and tell you what opportunities, because with road works comes opportunities. A few of the residents in attendance took the opportunity to quiz the minister on areas of concern to them. Minister Patterson responded immediately to the questions. In the past, we have activities on the road in our community involvement. from the corridor to have an input in what is being done over time.
on honorable medicine. We have some incidents, some work that we have done, not during this time, in the 18th of the East Bank of Poland. They constructed a wonderful job on the road. The consultants who did the work for that area, when they started in 1977, they were to place a canal a thousand rod from the road. Eventually, when they start the project, they put the canal a hundred rod from the road. Now, when all the water comes down, they flood all the front line. They left all the places. We are going to put single doors through. They put double doors through. There are some contractors that build some doors, some shoes, that you can't even open them. They take high back and press it up. Was a member of Parliament representing and also the East Bank. He said to us that the East Bank doesn't have the population to require a new road. But I am saying he's a liar and now we're going to get the road. The first phase of the project will encompass five villages, namely Islington, Overwinning, Glasgow, Providence and Edinburgh. The minister also gave his commitment to return during the rehabilitation process to update the residents on the progress of the works. The project is being completed by the Special Projects Unit of the Ministry of Public Infrastructure and Phase 1 will last approximately 8 months. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.